Hi everyone, Sheila here with my weekly update from a slightly different location. No, this isn't a fake Zoom background. This is the view from my window this week um, because I'm at Cove Park in Helensborough and I'm on a residency. I've been here since Monday and it's been fabulous. Now, this is the first time I've been in an artist residency, so I wasn't quite sure what to expect. But I did speak to a couple of people before I came and they advised me that I shouldn't put too much um, pressure on myself or try and do too much, but just enjoy the space um, and take that time to, to think and talk to other people that are here. So I've been doing exactly that. Um, I've been really enjoying the space, not just the space out here, but the space in here uh, and it's been quite interesting as well because earlier this week I had signed up for a symposium at the Slade School of Art, an online symposium um, called Colour and Poetry because it was World Colour Day, World Pigment Day and World Poetry Day earlier in the week and it was really fascinating listening to a mix of scientists, of poets, of artists talk about their experiences of, of colour. Um, and although it's quite colourful behind me today, this week the light has actually been very soft. So it's been the, the loch and the, the, the landscape. It's been quite flat in terms of colour. Um, it's been very sort of pale greys and quite mysterious, quite beautiful as well. Um, but yeah, there was an interesting juxtaposition talking about colour and then not actually being surrounded by that much natural colour and I suppose just thinking more about perceptions of colour and how maybe as an artist I maybe see colours that not everybody does or maybe I enhance colours and I think we all do that to an extent. So yes, an interesting experience and I think this place um, is full of juxtapositions because of where we are geographically. We're not very far away from Fast Lane where the UK Trident nuclear submarines are based and also Coolport, which is another older military base. And also the original peace camp, which was set up to be near Coolport, is very close by as well. And it's in a bit of ancient woodland. And I've had a couple of um, walks and explorations around there. It's really quite a magical place, I think, because you're in the ancient woodland. There's a lot of moss and trees. Um, and then you have the remains of the camp. Um, which is quite striking and it feels, I suppose, like maybe contemporary archaeology because it's not really that long ago since the, the camp, um, I suppose, ceased to be. Um, but really interesting and, and very thought provoking, particularly in these times when peace is really at the forefront of all of our minds just now. Um, but yeah, it's been an interesting week and I've not really been doing much but a lot of thinking and bits of sketching and bits of pieces I'm really just enjoying as I said the space to do that um, so I'm sure that this experience is building to something I'm not quite sure what but you will hear and see more of it in the coming months uh, I am absolutely sure of that so until then I hope you're all keeping very well and I'm going to enjoy my final few days here and then back to the studio next week until then take care Bye for now.